So I think a lot of folks like myself um, get discouraged at how expensive bookbinding tooling tools are. Um, but I wanted to show a way in which you can get into blind tooling for under 30 bucks. So um, on eBay, you can buy a set of 20 uh, st solid, uh, steel leather stamps. Um, they look like, like this, pack of 20 for 20 bucks. And they got all these different kind of good patterns. And then you just buy some um, five eighths or three quarter inch uh, pine dowel from Home Depot. And you uh, just cut them into like a six inch chunk, drill a little hole in, maybe put a little bit of um, heat temperature resistant glue in there. So I did, and then you just bang in with a hammer the, uh, the steel tool and then you have your um, heat insulated uh, handle and your cheap tool. And then you can just get one of these camping stoves. They're basically at every thrift store imaginable. And on the highest temperature, it gets as hot as a proper um, coil uh, bookbinding um, heater grill. So, and then, you know, I made a little protective box for it to keep it safe, but the results are really um, quite pleasing. And so you can uh, layer on. Here's a book I'm working on right now. Um, so, and, you, and then also for, for pallets or fillets, this is a, um, a cookie sc uh, spatula you can get at the dollar store for a dollar. I just um, straightened it and then ground and, fl and filed um, a rounded edge and then just kind of sanded it with some emery cloth and uh, boom, there's a $1 palette that has worked uh, excellently um, for lines. And uh, yeah, here, I'll just uh, do a couple of stamps just to, I'm using this for guy to, uh, to layer on. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Usually you want two hands to get enough pressure, but as you see, it gets nice and hot. And boom, there's uh, blind tooling for under 30 bucks.